And at the core of this in the, in the, in the Java ecosystem is the JVM. And most people talk about Java the language. And, and, you know, this may sound odd coming from me, but I could hardly care less, right? What I really care about is the Java virtual machine as a, as sort of a, as, as sort of a concept because that is the thing that ties it all together, right? It, it's the thing that makes Java the language possible. It's the thing that makes things work on all kinds of different platforms. And it makes all kinds of languages able to coexist. Uh, you know, in the, the, the sort of standard sort of non-JVM world, people have lots of different languages, but it's really hard for them to coexist because, you know, they all, you know, manage memory differently. They all manage their calling, you know, their, their subroutine calling sequences differently. And, 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 and so in the, in the sort of non-JVM world, you know, being able to go back and forth between languages is just about impossible. Whereas in the Java world, it's, it's remarkably straightforward. I mean, there are some, some issues, but it's remarkably straightforward to, you know, you know, write a piece of your, of your, of your program in Java, a piece of your program in JavaScript, a piece of your program in Ruby. Um, you can make things as god awful as you want. Um, you know, it, it does kind of allow people to create incredible messes, but, on the other hand, you know, you can use languages that are appropriate for the task at hand. And different languages are better at different things. And, you know, Java happens to be a, a really good language for a broad spectrum of topics. 